everyone, welcome to Pat's Picks. I have something really special to show you for the first episode of 2018. This is the Patents Pending ML, made in USA. What makes this guitar special is it's a replica of this 41 year old, now classic ML. The new Patents Pending ML comes equipped with DiMarzio Super Distortion pickups just like its predecessor from 41 years ago. But don't let the name Super Distortion fool you. These pickups clean up really well. Let me give you an example. Let's go over some of the features that make this such a special guitar. It has the Series 1 headstock, which happens to be the largest headstock Dean ever produced. We have a bone nut, just like the 77. And this is the thing I like the most, is it's so comfortable to play because it has this really round, rolled over edge on the fingerboard, and that is extremely important on this guitar. It really, really makes a huge difference. Of course, we were talking about the pickups being the DiMarzio Super Distortions, just like the 77 had. It has the single ply cream binding. It's a nitrocellulose lacquer finish, and that's what they used on all the vintage Deans, was lacquer. So we recre recreated this thing to the T. I'll show you something on the back of the headstock too. It's really cool. Is we even stamped in patents pending, just like the original Deans had from 77 to 79. This one happens to be the NAM prototype, 2018. We're using the vintage reissue Grovers. They're slightly different shape right here. You can tell they're rounded over. And these are 18 to 1 uh, gear ratio, which makes it, uh, it just fine tunes it a little bit better. And we even duplicated the original routes that uh, we used back in the early days. Quite different from what we were using. We have the original style ferrules. And we even went as far as to, oh, caught in the wire there. Oh. Put the strap button on the uh, on the leg here on the end, like they did in the old days. I mean, we, we put them here on a lot of guitars, but the original ones had it here. Oh, another cool thing is the brass plates on the jack, the jack plate, and for the V plate brass and we put a uh, there's a coating on there to protect it uh, just a clear finish and this is kind of cool uh, the old Deans they used to have the knobs sticking up a little bit further than what you normally see I kind of like it because it's just a little easier access it's easier to grab the knob you know it's uh, not up against the body when you're, you're turning it and we're using the uh, old style switchcraft Right angle, three-way switch, selector switch. And uh, it has the ebony fingerboard with the abalone dots and the jumbo frets. And we got uh, red side dots, which is really cool. And that's what uh, we were using back in 77, was the red side dots, the side markers. And uh, we have uh, actually, there's a maple top on this, just like all the old Deans, the old MLs. Um, even though this is, uh, you know, an opaque finish, it's not transparent, we still wanted to have the maple top. I mean, it's just, it's not figured, it's just a maple top. Um, obviously, you wouldn't want to figure, paint a solid color over a figured top, but um, it, it adds to the tone. It, it you know, because the rest of the guitar is all mahogany, mahogany neck, mahogany body. 
three-piece mahogany neck. And then we have the maple top. And uh, it's a great combination. It's just a, it's, I don't think you can get any better for tone. Uh, DiMarzio is going to um, make the pickups for this guitar just like they did back in 77 using the two conductor wire. Where if you buy a uh, Super Distortion today, it would normally come with a four conductor wire. Um, in 77, they offered the two conductor and they're gonna do that for a special for this guitar. And uh, it's gonna be pretty cool because I mean, it's it's gonna be just, just like the old ones. I mean, it's just a complete replica of the original 77. In 77, they were, uh, all the MLs had a C-shaped neck. And I, I mean, I really like the feel of this neck. It's a C-shape, and with that rounded over binding, it just feels feels really good. We, we have the original over here, and I mean, we've been, you know, I actually picked this one up the other day, and I thought it was the, <laughs> the prototype, but it's the original. And then I noticed it has a few more scratches. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's right on, right on the money. We spent a lot of time, you know. This uh, we had this guitar in the wood shop for many, many days, going over every every little you know nook and cranny, getting everything identical. And one thing, you know, you can see the heads on the headstock. The the logo got a little yellow. I mean, obviously, because it's you know 40 something years old, and uh, you know it's lacquer, so that'll happen. We. We didn't yellow the logo because in 1977, the logo would have been white. Let's check out some lead tones. Thanks for watching the first episode of Pat's Picks for 2018, featuring the new Patents Pending ML. It's an amazing guitar. Uh, please check one out. And for more information, go to DeanGuitars.com. And uh, hope to see you next time.